everybody? It's Titan Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're taking a look at a sneaker, but before we get into that, I need you to hit that like button on this video. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker and this video. And if you haven't already, you just sub up to the channel. And if you want uh, to follow me in the additional ways or track what I'm doing on my other outlets, there's a link of those in the description box. TikTok, Twitter, IG, etc. And let's dive into the sneaker. Uh, this sneaker, uh, not that popular, but uh, I like the sneaker. Due to the month of January, it was real slow with sneakers, but now we're in February. We starting to pick up, as I show you that box tag. You have that that blue Jordan Jumpman on top. Kind of reminds me of the Gamma Blue Jordan Air there. It's a fold over top. Let's see, we do have a lot stamped right here. And pretty much that's what it is. Uh, I did get this pair from Dick Sporting Goods. Look at the tissue, got that splatter on one side, then it's smooth on that side, a little rough on the other. And you do have that YDM sticker right there, YCM sticker. And also in here you do have that sticker as well. Yes, when I went to Dick Sporting Goods to sign up, I was the first one to sign up for my size 14. And uh, I'm gonna read it to you real quick. It says Air Jordan 5 Retro. Uh, color is black, aquatone, and taxi. It's a size 14, and these did retail for $200. Yes, guys, this is the sneaker. Uh, like I was saying, these did retail for 200 bucks, but I had a $30 coupon for the exporting goods. So I got these for 170 which is probably the only reason that I uh, bought them because I probably would have waited until they went on sale. So shout out to Dick Sporting Goods for having these available for me. But I was surprised when I went there to pick these up. Remember I told you I was the first one to sign up on pickup day. I was the only one that signed up. I was the only one signed up for this sneaker. So if you're in my area, you can go to the Dick Sporting Goods. At the time recording this video, it had a full size run, minus the size 14. As I get into the sneaker, you have majority black on this short grain of, this is new buck, all over new buck. And it's the type of new buck that attracts all kind of length. So forgive me, I should have hit this sneaker with a lint roller before recording this video, but you're gonna need a lint roller for these before you treat them uh, with some crep or some uh, rejuvenator uh, stain repellent. You got black hits right there on your eyelash. You got your translucent netted system with the black background, midsole black, going around your air housing, clear bubble, white inside. You got your aqua tone translucent hit right here and at the heel. And you have your varsity maze colorway right here with the shark teeth with the aqua tone paint splatter right there. Take a closer look at that. What's these to the outsole? You have aqua tone translucent hits at the toe and the heel. You got the uh, black hit right here. There you go, see it's Jordan. And underneath the translucent uh, aqua tone colorway, there's a Jordan Jumpman right there with a black hit at the top. Heat of the sneaker, you have an embroidered Jordan Jumpman in the aqua tone colorway. It's called aqua tone, but let's be real, guys. This looks more like a gamma, so it looks kind of like the Jordan Van on a gamma blue 11. It's just a little shade off. Let's get that Gamma out and show you guys. Here we go guys, this is the Gamma Blue 11. And it's just a little off in color. And you see them side by side, but the color pattern on here, the Varsity Maze Aquatone. And on here, your Varsity Maze and Gamma Blue. Yes, and you have more of that short grand the new buck of black material. As we make our way to the medial side of the sneaker, uh, you have your translucent netting system right here with the black background. And on your uh, midsole, 
You have black going around the air housing clear bubble white inside. You have a little smaller hit of that varsity maze with the aquatone paint splatter and your little hit of translucent aquatone right here. As we get around to the toolbox, trying to see if you have some change of direction. Very little because it is very short grain as we attempt to look on the inside of the sneaker yes and going up the tongue you do have one set of laces these only come in one set of laces the flat black laces and you have more of that translucent netting system right here on the tongue up to this part and you do have your uh taco i'm sorry the top of the tongue in 3m and you have an embroidered jaw and jump man that aquatone colorway you have a uh your aquatone push pin right here and let's see yes yeah, so you do have a varsity maze jaw and jump man right there on here and you do have a black sock liner black sock liner and the back of the uh, tongue it does see it's air jaw but it's opposite you have a, a woven patch on here in black with the varsity maze Lettering does come stuffed with a uh, paper or tissue, and this is the insert. You have the aquatone insert, looks more like gamma blue, but I'm gonna leave y'all alone with that after this. And the varsity maze jaw and jump man with the size and stick on here. And this is another dream cell insert on the sleeve. Yes, guys, this is a good um, look at the Air Joy Retro 5 Aquatone. Uh, you know, fives. You know, I don't like my shoes exact. So, the fit for me, true to size, is the way to go. They're comfy, they're not too tight. And, you know, this how they look good on feet. I, uh, Got the little 3M action going on here, but uh, yeah, this is a an interesting sneaker. Not too many people going to rock with these, but uh, I like them. But this is just a quick on foot look at the Air Jordan Retro 5 Alpha Tone. So that pretty much uh, wraps up the uh, review of the sneaker. Fit on these, the fit on fives, they are true to size. You can get your regular uh, size with those, with these Jordan fives. And let me know what you think of this sneaker. Uh, I was thinking about not keeping it, but being that I got them for under retail, I'm probably gonna keep them. So again, shout out to Dick Sporting Goods for having that side 14 locally for me. And like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.